Hi, I'm Lois Vogel Sharp. Today's January 6, 2018. And I woke up um, with these words. They just came out of nowhere. And I guess it's kind of like a proclamation, I guess you could call it. So I'm going to read it. The laws of our land have told our God, we will not follow you, nor will we listen to you. The highest Supreme Court in the United States of America has called God out and told him we want to do things our own way. This defiance has slapped judgments upon us, and we the people of the United States of America want this changed, for we know our God is not pleased with these choices. We should have risen up years ago to stop these abominations, but we did not. We have woken up to the ploy of our enemy to destroy America, and we say no. In the mighty name of Jesus, Yeshua HaMashiach, we demand that the Supreme Court the president who voted, who we voted into office, the Senate, the Congress, and anyone else who needs to be involved, listen to the cries of the people for justice to the unborn, for justice to the children who God created as either male or female, to be made right in the sight of our God, or America will continue with another round of judgments upon our land. We, the children of God, say no more and right these wrongs in the sight of the Almighty God, the creator of the heaven and the earth, before we find ourselves in trouble once again in our Father's eyes. God is mercy and God is judge. The unborn have no advocate unless we speak out for them. Unless we hear their cry, they remain helpless, like a lamb going to the slaughter. We know life begins in the womb, therefore abortion is murder and should not be allowed, as if murder is acceptable. What happened to us as God's children? Have we become so cold-hearted in America that we ignore all the children being martyred? Stop this abomination, for judgment is coming, saith the Lord God. That's what I got this morning uh, when I woke up. I'm not an abortion activist. <laughs> I'm really not. I am not for abortion. But ever since God gave me a word from him. This is now the third word I've gotten from God about abortion and the murdering of the babies. Ever since the Lord spoke to me about it, I realized how God sees this and how this really has to be rectified because this is an abomination in his sight. And America, even though we've lined up with Israel, until this is rectified, God can't help but do right judgment in the situation. You see, judgment falls down when we don't do the things that are right. Consequences for our behaviors happen, whether we want them to or not. They just happen. You do something against the will of God, you're going to reap a consequence. And then we cry out and we say, well, why did this happen to me? Things happen because we don't obey God. God loves us. He is cleaning up his church. These abominations came into play with another president who allowed this to happen. Now we have a president who is against all this, but we have to take action. If murder, if murder is illegal in our country, think about this for a minute. If murder is illegal in our country and people go to jail for murdering somebody, we know that life begins in the womb. We know that scientifically now, that life begins in the womb. If we know that, then that is outright murder. Is it not against our law, the law of our land, to then murder a baby? It's against our own law. So then why is it still going on? This should be rectified very quickly by saying we have learned that life begins in the womb, and this is now against our laws. Therefore, done. No longer can happen. We no longer can say you can have an abortion. According to our own laws of murder. Murder is murder. Whether you're in the womb or out of the womb. Right? It's murder. If it's a life and I take it, it's considered murder. Whatever form that life is in, it's still murder. Whether the baby's two months, three months, four months, five months, whatever it is, 
It's a life that's being murdered. Just like all the Catholics and, and Christians and everybody overseas, the Pentecostals, whoever, whatever religion they, they are under, the Christians are being martyred for the namesake of Jesus across the world. And we pretty much ignore it every day because we're busy about our own lives. God is calling his people to rise up, to take our stand for unrighteousness across the entire world especially in America where we live. This is on the heart of God, and it will be on the heart of God until it's changed and rectified. And America cannot be fully blessed by God until it changes, because we are murdering babies and saying that it's acceptable when, in fact, it's not. Not in the eyes of God. Not even in the eyes of the laws of our own land. So... We have to continue to do that. We have to flood the White House. Don't just do it once. Keep it going. Keep it going. Keep it going. They have to know we're serious. I actually received an email from the White House the other day. I don't know if anybody else has that sent them out, but I got one back. Um, and they said that they, President Trump is very interested in what the people have to say. So if we're talking and we're saying it and we're telling him what we want to be done, he's going to make sure that whatever avenue he has to take to get it done, it will happen. If we put no pressure and we just stay silent like we did when it was made the law, it will continue. Right now, and I'm telling you this under the unction of the Spirit, right now, the judgments of God are coming on America. Because this is still in continuing, this is still continuing onward. And he cannot be a just judge. He has to speak for the babies. He has to show us that we're wrong. He will continue to show us we're wrong. There is going to be an earthquake in California. You mark my words. They're escalating now. California's lit up like, forget it. The earthquake, they just had a 4.8 or something. They're escalating. They started out as one point somethings. Now they're four point somethings. There's going to be a significant earthquake in one of the biggest states. It's number one, actually, in the United States of America for, for abortions. He's going to start speaking to the cities. People have been addressing me and saying, well, are we not going to have the safe havens anymore? See, this is what we have to understand, what's, what's actually going down, all right? The Christians are rising up. Re you have to read the book of Acts because you have to get a clue as to what happened back then. The Christians were being formed um, the worshipers of Jesus were rising up by the thousands and thousands. They were walking in the power of the Holy Spirit after, after they got baptized with the power and the fire. They were laying hands on the sick. They were recovering. Miracles were happening. All these amazing things were happening. But at the same time, the evil one was out to destroy the Christians and to stop them dead in their tracks. Well, that's what's going on in the world today. The evil one is trying to stop everything we do. He will continue to try to stop us. Reprobate minds are going to get worse and worse and worse. What is a reprobate mind? It's someone that's not thinking clearly. It's somebody that's being motivated by the devil. Anyone being motivated by the devil will have hatred towards us and will want to kill us and destroy us like the devil does. That's going to continue. These safe havens will be needed. We can't just forget about the safe havens because right now things are halfway okay. There's a period in time that's coming very soon down the line when all hell is going to break loose. The wrath of Almighty God is going to come down in full force on the world. And America too. It's going to hit everywhere, the wrath of God, when that time period happens. The very, very end, as we go up in the rapture, there's going to be fire that comes down on the earth. And America is going to be part of it. But the Christians will not be here anymore when that happens. We will be gone. So the visions that people have had of fire coming down and destroying things, the major part of that is, is at the very end, when we're already raptured out of here. So we have to not get confused with these prophetic things that are being shown of destruction. America is not going to be destroyed while the Christians are still here. Let's put it that way. I'll put it that way to make it a little bit more understandable. But God's judgments are his, 
way of showing us we're not walking the walk, the chastisements, the judgments. The wrath of God is another story. That's, to that's destruction coming upon the earth. The judgments of God are to keep waking us up and make us see that he's not pleased with what we're doing. He's not pleased with America and the abortions that are happening. It has to stop. Okay, so this is what he's going to be doing. He's going to be hitting the, the towns, the cities where they're, they're Sodom and Gomorrah's, literally. Sodom and Gomorrah's. He destroyed Sodom and Gomorrah, and he's going to destroy the cities that are Sodom and Gomorrah's. Are you living in a city that is a Sodom and a Gomorrah? You're not going to want to be there, child of God. You're not going to want to be there. As you see evil escalate right around the corner from you, you won't feel free to walk down the street anymore. We don't even feel free now at this point because it's escalated so much so that the hatred is so bad in this country. Will there be a revival? There will certainly be a revival. There will be people coming into the kingdom of Almighty God. But just as much as there is a revival in the kingdom of God, there is also the Antichrist who is rising up. <laughs> so all the evil demonic forces are rising up in full force to stop us. It's a, it's a battle. The battle is raging on. It's leading to the battle of Armageddon. That's what this is winding down to. So the safe havens, yes, just because I haven't spoken about them um, in the last few videos does not mean that they're not still happening. And you really have to get on board to make that happen too. Because we will be in these places where the Christians will be together in one mind and one accord, waiting for the rapture to happen. All right? Right now, we still have enough freedom that we ought to get out there and preach to everybody and anybody we can. But we must be very alert to realize there is an enemy. There's an enemy trying to kill President Trump, all right? The devil wants to stop him dead in his tracks. We have to pray for him. We have to pray for his family. We have to pray for one another that we, we, we remain safe and protected by our Father God. That no weapon that forms against us can prosper. The devil sends the fiery darts to stop us. But we have the power in the name of Jesus to come back. It's a battle. It's a war. That's why you need the power of the Holy Spirit so that you can walk in the power of the living God. So, this is the mission Children of God, this is our mission right now. We have to get this abortion law changed. Flood the White House. We have to get the president to do something about this. Because this is a big hindrance in our country still. And God's judgments are out. They won't stop. They're out there. The corrections are out there. Because until the problem gets corrected, it's like a parent. If the child is not obedient, they're going to keep getting the consequence the punishment that comes along with the consequence for that behavior. Well, that's what's happening with America. It, even though the Christians were against abortion, nobody stopped it. We didn't rise up and come against it with full force. We didn't flood the White House and tell them, nah, no, we don't want this. And we also voted the man into office twice. Twice we let that man in office. Why did we do it? We did it for whatever reason we did it. We were blinded. We were blinded in many ways. Well, the blinders are coming off in the name of Jesus. And I pray for the power of the Holy Spirit to touch you in Jesus' name. I pray for the, for the um, whatever enemy hold the enemy has on you. I rebuke it in the name of Jesus. All the demonic forces to loose their hold on God's people. And go to the dry places in Jesus' name. I pray for healing of your physical bodies. I pray for your souls to be healed from the fiery dots, the lies that were planted in your soul, that they would be removed in the name of Jesus. I pray for peace, peace, peace in Jesus' name. And most of all, love, 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 that we would love one another. Because this is the most powerful force in the universe. It's called love, L-O-V-E, -E, love. And as we join together with that power, in the name of Jesus, there is nothing Nothing that can stop the move of Almighty God in the world. Nothing can stop it. It doesn't matter if they kill us. It doesn't matter. Because there will be martyrs in the end times. But it doesn't matter. We can't look at the flesh. Get the word out about the abortions. I'm going to actually have this printed out. It will be, I guess, can anybody just download this, whatever? 
All right, this will be where you'll be able to get it to your house and hand it out, whatever you want to do with it, or send it wherever you want to send it, whatever you want to do with it, but get it out because this is what God is telling us to do right now. This and the safe havens, that's the two missions right now we have um, to accomplish. Amen? And I'm Lois Vogel Sharp, and I don't have to say the address because it's at the end of this video. And my website is kingofgloryonline.org. And you can email me, kingofgloryonline at gmail.com. And, of course, I'm on YouTube, King of Glory Ministries. And um, that's it. Have a blessed day, and I will be back when he sends me back again. And say some prayers, because we're going to go look at this land right now. Say some prayers about the safe havens, and for God to make some supernatural moves to purchase this, the land that we have. We have a certain amount of money to purchase some of it. We don't have it all yet, but it is adding up a little at a time. So God can do an outright miracle too. So we'll see what he does. Believe me when I tell you, you'll be very surprised at what God's going to start doing because it's going to be miraculous. Have a blessed day.